Yes, now this is something I've been wanting to talk about. This person said, Lena Khan is a badass, which is true. Now you may ask, who is Lena Khan? She is the chair of the Federal Trade Commission who was appointed under Joe Biden. He chose her against the shouts of every single Republican in Congress who despise her and all of big business who despise her. Why? Because Lena Khan is someone who has thought long and deeply and studied and learned about mergers and corporate consolidation and how it hurts consumers. And ever since she has been in her position, she has been quietly chipping away at giant companies' abilities to merge and make things harder and worse for consumers. You probably don't know because most Americans don't follow this stuff, but the Biden administration under Lena Khan has been absolutely transformative in terms of antitrust work. And if you subscribe to Big by Matt Stoller, you can follow it every week. She's going against Amazon. She's going up against Apple. She's going up against, I can't even list it all. I'd be here all day. She alone is worth the price of admission as far as I'm concerned for what she's doing for consumers. But it's not just her. We have Michael Regan over at the EPA who is like literally banning chemicals that have been banned in Europe for 30 years and that we have not seen banned here because again, big agra and big chemical didn't want them banned. He is doing it. He is working to do more climate stuff, to do more clean air stuff, to do more clean water stuff. That is Biden's appointee to the Environmental Protection Agency. We've got Julie Su, who is the acting secretary of the Department of Labor, we can't even get her confirmed because Republicans hate her. And every giant corporation hates her. Why? Because she's fighting her ass off for workers. And the Biden administration is fighting its ass off for workers. Week in and week out, they are passing rules to increase overtime, to make it easier for workers to negotiate, to make it easier for them to unionize. No one pays any attention. What I'm trying to say, please remember, when you vote for a president, you are not just voting for the person. You are voting for their entire administration. Do we remember who Donald Trump had in his first term? And these were better by a factor of millions than who he would have in a second term. Betsy DeVos, who wanted to basically privatize our public schools. Scott Pruitt, who was on the take from Dow Chemicals. When he was running the EPA, he had Alexander Acosta as the labor secretary who was a full-on union buster. Trump's director of the OMB was Russell Vaught, who he is likely to bring back as his chief of staff in a second term. He's a full-on Christian nationalist. Speaking of Trump's second term, let's talk about some of the other names that are being floated repeatedly as people who will be in his cabinet. We're hearing Matt Gates. We're hearing Kash Patel. We're hearing Kerry Lake. We are hearing Ronnie Jackson, who basically functioned as a street dealer, like a drug dealer during Trump's first term. Michael Flynn, Tucker Carlson. They're talking about David Perdue for Secretary of Labor. These people don't give a sh crap about workers. They love corporate mergers because they make money off of them from their stocks and their big lobbyists. Meanwhile, consumers and workers and the environment and everything we care about will get crushed. So again, when you vote for president, you are voting for administration. And as someone who has had limited but real interactions with the Biden administration, what I can tell you is that every single person I have interacted with is smart, is committed, is trying hard, as hard as they can, to find ways to help American people and workers and consumers and kids and teachers and trying to clean our air, clean our water, make sure there are regulations in place so that we have food that is edible and, you know, on and on. All of those fall under the president. They're like a director who has to cast a play. What play do you want to be in for the next four years? Chaos, destruction, loss of all of our government services, dirty water, dirty air, corporations making more profit, rich people getting richer and everybody else suffering? Because you're mad at Biden, think it through. Hate the man if you want, but love his administration because they're amazing. And if we get four more years of him, hold your nose for that and love the fact that you get four more years of her.